All right, guys. <clears throat> so I'm setting up this assembly process. It's kind of a pain in the butt because these pliers I got for for doing this, the rings, um, <laughs> they wouldn't open the rings far enough, so I had to remove that so it would open them up because these there was a the thickness of this metal spring wasn't allowing it to open all the way. I'm sure there's probably different ones, different sizes, but whatever. This works now. So I checked the tolerance of the rings. Oil ring's good. Uh, this mid ring, uh, I forget what they call it. Let me look it up real quick. Show you. So second ring. So they're calling it a phosphate phosphate coated intermediate, where you got a chrome faced intermediate. So they're calling for <clears throat> twenty or uh, thirty two thousandths uh, or forty seven thousandths. For the phosphate, which I believe these are phosphate, they look phosphate because they're not a they're not a chrome faced ring. So anyway, uh, so it's got to be thirty two to forty seven thousandths. Um, I'll show you reading somewhere. Oops. Go back. Hmm. No, I don't know where it was at, but uh, it's a little spreadsheet this guy printed off. Um, but basically, it's the same thing. First ring, eight thousandths to eighteen thousandths, which I wrote it all down here. What the right right one is, and I'm sitting right at thirty two thousandths for the mid one. I'm at. 13 thousandths for the top ring and the oil ring I'm about 16 16 tight so 17 thousandths for cylinder one so now I gotta do cylinder two three four five six so I'm gonna assemble this rod put the wrist pin in um, the clips so these are all Cummins factory Cummins parts so these are the rings, this is the ring set, that's the piston box, so um, yeah I'll probably assemble these real quick, I'll put bags over them, the bags that the pistons come with, after I assemble it I'll put it in the bag and that'll be number one. Then I'll go on to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, so anyway. So let me uh, let me do that. Let me get all these set up in here. Let me do all these. It's gonna take a little while. This one took me mostly because I was looking up the specs, the tolerance, the gaps, the ring gap. Um, but anyway, so and this is how it's gonna sit. This says front, so it's gonna sit like that basically so you're gonna have the curvature up and that's the front apparently so anyway I will be back once I do all of them so. also I do want to mention that the rings do say top on them if you can see that or not it'll stop there you go it says top is top plus point five zero so when the pistons are point five zero so anyway just wanted to mention that does they do the rings do say top on these two oil ring I don't think it matters which way it goes I looked there's nothing on there just be careful when you're doing these rings you don't want to flare them out too bad so because you can potentially break them so I'll be right back alright 
box over there catching everything. So I'll bring you into how I'm doing this real quick. Best way I can find to do it. So I got cylinder one, two, this will be three. So I'm just taking the ring. Remember it says it says top on it. Yeah, it says top on it. Anyway, you probably can't see it. I'm just taking the ring, compressing it, putting it in there. Then I'll take a piston and I'll push it down and it stops. That should be pretty square with how the ring is. So square meaning inside the bore completely flat all the way around uh, so it's you know a full 90 degree inside here because otherwise if you have it twisted or whatever in here then the gap will get bigger I'll show you in a second so when I just take this I got 14 thousandths right here is the highest and it's a little tight so I got 13 and 13 fits all the way through and I'm basically let's see if I can hold on let me just disconnect it let me do the disconnecty so taking the 13 thousands right there and I'm going all the way up against the cylinder the cylinder wall closing that gap 14 right here as you can see doesn't want to quite go in all the way yep that's 14 so the 14 so as you can see you got a gap and I'm trying to go up and down but I'm just gonna move the ring so I do that with <clears throat> the top ring so we know this one's good so let me just show you real quick what I'm talking about so if you're not square so this is down like quarter inch and this is down three sixteenths of an inch or maybe this is a half inch about a half inch quarter inch over here so when you would do the gap, you could fit all kinds of filler gauges in there. So you just want to make sure that the ring is sitting in there square. And uh, yeah, so this one's good. They're probably all good. Um, they're probably all fine, but I'm just checking just to test just to see because uh, a lot of people on the forums are saying that there's they're having gap issues 
um, but whatever. So I'm just showing you guys how I do it. So if it's too low, if it, I want the piston to push the ring down. I don't want to. So, so we're good there. So then we'll come in with the 20. And we're good in here. So I'm going to go 20 thousandths on that. It's probably about 22, 23 thousandths. But anyway, so that's pretty much it for that. And then uh, we'll just try to assemble it. So like I said before, there's no uh, top or bottom on the uh, oil ring. Spray a little brake clean on this thing to clean these. So. so the oil ring is obviously just going to go on. You can spread it, but try not to spread it too much. Um, kind of a pain the oil ring because the oil ring wants to go into every like that right there so see the oil anyway that's what I've been fighting with for a little bit so I just take that off slide the oil chimney on there the spring itself not into that one into that one then I'll bring this ring around and you try to want to kind of want to mark up where the pink is or purple um, like I said these ones are pretty flexible so I'll just tuck it in there let that slide in over the spring I don't even know if you guys can see any of this so I'm just tucking it over the spring, so making sure that spring is sitting under the oil ring and it'll want to stretch on you. I don't know another way to do this other than the way I am doing it. So then I just collapse it a little bit. Make sure everything is good still. So, like that, I guess. Then we'll stick this one on, obviously, with the top on the top. The hippity hop, you don't stop to the rhythm of jump the boogie the beat. And then just spread this all the way out. Let it click a couple thousand times. down some more and viola there's that one and you want all your gaps lined up <clears throat> exactly the same spot just kidding, no you don't, because otherwise you'll have all kinds of blow-by. Engine probably won't even start. So you'll want to stagger. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to leave the oil ring, because it's in this valley here. So I'm going to leave the oil ring on this side. I'm going to turn this one towards the wrist pin side, and then this one will be opposite of one so anyway find the top again this one's kind of hard to see so that's the top stick it in this thing and brown chicken brown cow anyway so that's what I'm doing and then, you know, obviously, just taking it over here, finding the front, 
it says front and dropping it in on here and I take the wrist pin and the clips and put it right there so anyway that's basically what I'm doing right now so this is just gonna be the video of it <clears throat> um, yeah so I got three more to do no big deal and then uh, uh, next video will be putting the connecting rods on the pistons and then a video after that will be installing the pistons probably um, so I don't like to do these step-by-step -step things I'd rather just assemble the whole motor and just be all there it is it's done for sale but anyway alright guys so make sure you guys comment below tell me how retarded these are or I shouldn't say the word retarded but I do tell me how retarded these videos are like comment below subscribe check out my bull one and Glenn <clears throat> and uh, watch my previous video and then uh, that's what it's called go down there's a playlist you can click on the playlist 6.7 Cummins build and you can watch the whole build go through so alright guys thanks for watching later